it's a middleweight matchup between Talish Latis and Tim Boach. All right, so here's Tim the Barbarian Boach, the proud Lincolnville Maine native. This man has had a penchant for the rally throughout his UFC career. Who could forget the fight against Yushin Okami in Japan? And he's done it really throughout his UFC career. Just when you think he is down for the count, Tim Boach rallies for the win. One of the best chins and one of the more durable fighters in the history of this UFC middleweight division. We'll see, though, if he goes to the takedown tonight. Wrestling is his base, and we'll see if he employs that strategy in this particular matchup. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are world class. Stylistic matchup forthcoming here. You gotta think this fighter is trying to figure out how to get the fight to the ground at all costs to use his beautiful guard cutting ability. Cuts it as well as anybody in this division. And it's not just the technique, it's the athleticism that allows him to be so successful and get that advantageous position on the ground. A lot of guys just haven't seen seamless transitions like the ones brought to the table by this young man. We'll see if this fight goes to the canvas, if he has the advantage we expect him to have. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, Dars, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Sunbury, Pennsylvania, Tim the Barbarian Bosch. And now the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Talis Latin! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners. This is fight. a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. You ready? You ready? All right, we are underway here at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Some of the best MMA fans in the world, certainly the loudest, and they have packed the building here tonight. The latest a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under Welton Hibero. Such good movement oh. there. Immediately shoots for the leg. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Moves to full guard. Kimura. He's got his wrist clasped together, the double wrist lock position. From there, he wants to lift his opponent's wrist up and towards his back, putting tremendous pressure 
pressure on that shoulder. That Kimura was nasty, but he got free. And he gets reversed. Nice hammer fist. Full back hooks. Hammer fists blocked. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Moves into side control. In half guard position. Big shot from the bottom. He's back into side control here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Inside control. And moves to north south. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Boach. Under three minutes now to go in the round. And he's got that arm triangle attempt again. He's got the arm secured. Scoots his hips back. Sprawls. Now he's fully got the triangle locked in. Oh, and my God! Got caught in the choke and didn't have the time to tap. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if I'm most impressed with the setup or ultimately the technique to finish off the choke there, but his opponent showing off his patented toughness wasn't willing to tap, so ultimately he goes to sleep. A huge result that we are just digesting here tonight. And one last time, super tight choke, and he's out. And it's over before he even gets a chance to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Talish Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the